welcome to spring boot tutorial 3 and this is my channel proto hub today i will walk you through what are the different dependencies in spring boot and how to add them to the project so first we will look into the dependencies in spring boot so what are dependencies in spring boot let me explain you with an example have you ever tried to send an email to someone through your java project if so you would have downloaded a jar file called javax mail and that is how you would have done that email project if you haven't done no problem and that is how you have to download a jar file and add it to your project downloading a single jar file can be very easy but when you want to build a production grade application you will require many dependencies for your project downloading those jar files and adding to your project will be very much difficult and spring boot does not encourage us that approach so how do we do it here comes the dependency management technique on spring boot through the built plugins like maven or groovy you just have to write the dependencies you want on a file called pom.xml in your spring boot project so spring boot manages the dependencies and some of the configurations automatically the dependencies will automatically upgrade itself even when we change the spring boot version or whenever we change the spring boot version those dependencies will automatically upgrade itself also by default spring boot provides a default dependency called spring boot starter parent and that manages and and it can start the project also okay let's learn how to add new dependencies to palm.xml file to do that download a spring boot project from spring initializer website and import that project to your ide like Eclipse. Refer the video on episode 2 of this Spring Boot tutorial to learn how to generate the Spring Boot project and download it. If you have already seen, please proceed with the next step. You can also add the dependencies you want from this Spring Initializer website. Once the project is imported, it will update the default dependency packages inside pom.xml. Now open the pom.xml file and add a new dependency that I have in the notepad. I have Spring Boot Starter Validation as the dependency, which I am going to add it in pom.xml file. Now save the project and soon we will verify if the dependency is successfully added or not. So what does the validation dependency actually do? The validation dependency will do the validation on the object or objects in a class. You will learn a lot about this dependency in up upcoming videos. Until now, you understand that this dependency will have to do certain validations. Let me show you how the starter validation will actually look like.
you can see the annotations which i have added in this class are imported from the starter validation dependency which we have added in pom.xml file so this is what the dependency management is and this is how you can simply add a dependency to your project based on your use case